In today's video, we are talking about Maverick. The Maverick is the newest, hottest, compact truck there is right now, so stay tuned. Let's talk about the 2022 Ford Maverick. What is going on, social media family? My name is Jorge Lopez, and I'm your sales consultant. We are located in Tomball, Texas. Tomball Ford is your dealership of choice. Welcome to yet another video. I'm gonna ask you to subscribe, like, and share this video if you are into content like today's video, which is the Ford Maverick. We're gonna do a walk around review, show you the exterior, show you the inside, the versatility, maybe a test drive. So without further ado, let me show you a couple of things about the Ford Maverick. And as always, I wanna start with a window sticker with this beautiful, beautiful Maverick. So I'm gonna ask Hayden, my assistant, to come in and uh, let's show everybody the window sticker so that you guys can see exactly what I'm talking to you about. We're talking about a 2022 XLT front wheel drive, two liter EcoBoost on this one. You've got two engines. I'll touch base here shortly on that. Hot pepper red is the color of this Maverick. Navy pier on the gray. And here are a few options that this vehicle has. Your engine, your inverter, so on and so forth. This one has an MSRP of 25,770. So the Maverick, what the heck is a Maverick? Well, the Maverick is Ford's newest compact size truck. You can get it in an XL, you can get it in an XLT, and you can get it in a Ford Larian. that this is a nice, bold, in-your-face design. You've got an LED headlights in here. None of these uh, Mavericks have fog lights, okay? So that's something that this one doesn't have. You won't see it here. This one does not have a front camera either on it. You do have your uh, air intake system on it. Just, you know, plastic material on here, but I like the, the texture. I like the design on it. Right here on the top, this hood is pretty sexy. I like the lines here on the hood. Check this out right here. You know, for a entry level truck that can start as low as $19,995, Ford really, really spent their, uh, uh, their time and research to find out what looks good and with some safety features. As you can see over there, you got a camera, you've got your adaptive cruise control as an option on this one. This one does not have it, but I'm gonna go over that with you here shortly. Now coming along the side of the Maverick, I just want you to look at this color. This color is the hot pepper red metallic. This color is a brand spanking new color for the Ford Maverick and also for the uh, Ford Bronco. If you recall, Rapid Red is no longer made. And if you look over there, that's Rapid Red. This is hot pepper over here. Comment below, what do you like better, hot pepper red or rapid red? I don't know about you guys, but this is a good, good looking uh, Maverick right here. What I like about the side guys is the wheel arches over here. Kind of the design that Ford made on these, if you want to zoom in a little bit more, you can actually kind of think that you've got like a fender flare on something like this. I really like that. And again, for a compact vehicle that is not too expensive, to have Ford stamp that from the factory is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, you will have some plastic finishes. You know, it comes with the territory because this is an entry level price truck right there. Plastic there, plastic there. I like this a lot. I wish it was electronic, but again, we are budget uh, friendly on the Ford Maverick. I love this because you can lock your doors, you can unlock it just by typing in a code. Coming back, like traditionally, you got a capless. Um, fuel system, nothing big on that, but look at this back end. You've got um, a lot of things going on right here. So first of all, you got a backup camera, which is standard on all Ford vehicles. 
This one has the manual lock. Now, on my Super Duties and my F-150s, you can just hit the lock button and it locks everything, including your tailgate. But again, we are talking budget friendly. So there's a few things around the vehicle that Ford is cutting their cost. Okay, but this is not a big deal, right? You can easily get your key and lock it. You do have your receiver hitch with standard towing is 2,000 pounds. But if you get the optional uh, trailer tow uh, receiver hitch, the 4K towing package, then guess what? You get to uh, be able to tow 4,000 pounds. And the way to find out which is which is that on the 4K towing, then you'll have another extra connector right here for your trailer and your trailer lights on here. You just have your phone four pin connector right there. But this is really cool to have a receiver hitch here from the factory. Your license plate is gonna be off centered. If not, then the whole configuration is gonna be so funky because to begin with, this is gonna be a lower uh, height right, height on, on the truck. Let me show you inside here. This one has your sprayed and bent liner. You've got um, your tie downs couple points right there tie downs right there in the front and pretty cool stuff let me show you over here this is really really cool because Ford on some of these models on these uh, behind these uh, little trap doors you have some electrical connections so you can have now so your uh, DIY do it yourself for lights and uh, air compressors and stuff like that you can uh, plug in inside the design I like because you've got these grooves that allow you to put a two by four uh, going across, going something like this. Write in the comments below, what do you think you can use this bed for? Pretty cool stuff that you have so many different things on, on a Ford Maverick. But one of the favorite things that I absolutely like about this is the ability to unhinge this, put it on top. You can do the same thing on that side, okay? But what is this for, you ask? Well, this allows you to have like a six foot bed right? Uh, if you're hauling a sheet of plywood or sheetrock, it's going to lay flat on this uh, wheel wells. And guess what? It's going to go across and sit flush on top of this tailgate. Isn't that a genius thing? That's really, really cool. And you can easily just unsnap it, put it back to normal, and you're set. Another really cool feature that I like about the Maverick is right in here, this little storage compartment. Open it up and you've got a little cubby, but even better, you can remove this and guess what? Now you've got a nice deep storage compartment in your Ford Maverick. All really, really cool stuff. So talking about the engines, pull on the lever twice inside will allow you to open up your hood. You still have a prop arm right here but this is the 2.0 liter EcoBoost engine, which is the more powerful engine. It gives you 250 horsepower, 277 pound foot of torque. Very torquey, very peppy, and we're gonna be testing it out on the road to see how it does. The second engine that we have is actually the standard engine, the hybrid. The hybrid is a 2.5. It is a hybrid engine that gives you right at 191 mile, uh, 90, what, gives you 191 horsepower and gives you a range of up to 500 miles per tank on that little truck. It is estimated to get you right at 40 miles per gallon. Um, I'm, I'm yet to do a review on that, so stay tuned. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel to see that upcoming video in the near future. But simple stuff, you really don't have to worry too much about you know, the technology here, it's long lasting. Everything is in clear containers, so you can peek through it and see if it needs to be filled up. Man, other than that, pretty simple stuff. Now, let me show you about some stuff on the inside. Now, talking about the inside of the Ford Maverick, I'm gonna show you a couple of things, starting with the door. But look at this handle. This handle is super unique, but let me just share with you that this design doesn't look like an entry-level truck design. This actually looks like more of a high-end stuff. And again, Ford really took their time to design this thing really, really well and keep the budget really, really cost-friendly. But I know you can't touch this, but this feels super, super nice, nice composite plastic material. But look at all of these shapes and design. It's, such, it's just not flat. It is not boring. You got the colors that pop. 
look at this right here. You got your water bottles right there. You can fit a nice thin Yeti right there. And this is a nice storage area. You can fit an iPad in there, something to keep away from sight. You got your regular uh, power windows and locks and all of that stuff. This is a hard plastic material, but this right here is nice and soft. This is where your arm is gonna rest anyways. Coming along right here, we're keeping the orange theme. You can see it right there, see it right across, and see it right there as well. Again, the composite plastic material, and look, you got some more shapes and design right there. That's super, super cool. There's your light stuff, there's your, your gauges, and again, um, harder plastic material. This is a different color than this, than that, than this, and this. So you got a lot of colors popping inside. You got your cruise control stuff, you got your answer and a hang up button for your uh, Bluetooth phone. So all of your controls are right here at your fingertips. So let me show you a couple things about the infotainment center. Now let me share this with you that this infotainment center is like super, super basic. On your sources, that's your choices. Just your phone, Bluetooth, your FM, your AM. You've got your phone connectivity. You've got your 911 assist. God forbid you're involved in an accident. The airbags deploy, then the system calls 911 for you. Some of the apps are compatible. Most of them are not with your phone. And then you got your general settings on here. Now, the really cool thing about this is that you do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatible with the system. All you need to do is connect your phone to one of these two USB ports, USB-A, USB-C, and you will be able to charge your device at the same time. And your phone actually kind of sits in right here on the upper levels. You'll have a wireless charging pad right there, some more storage, and this is a removable, nice rubbery material so you can easily clean it and be on your way. Man, I don't like that <laughs> right there. But uh, hey, coming along here, you got your AC, just one setting, one temperature, and not nothing dual, nothing fancy. Again, keeping it, keeping it basic. Um, again, going with the orange themes right there. Another thing about the radio system right here, I haven't reviewed it yet, but I'm curious to hear what the BNO sound system sounds like because apparently this here is not that great, but hey, it's a, again, a budget friendly truck. Now, one of the things that is very uh, controversial or just kind of like making you scratch your head is, what in the world is this right here? What can you fit in here? Comment below and let me know what can you fit in this little cubby right here. I'm curious. You've got another cubby area right here that you can place maybe some loose change, um, you know, maybe your phone. Although most phones are a lot larger than that. But uh, hey, again, coming along with this nice, composite with the different designs material here this whole setup is really really cool i want to point out now the seats look at the seats look at the stitching look at this this two-tone right here now this is some really good design kind of denim feel blue jeans material with this nice two-tone right here and look at that stitching nice contrast stitching right there cup holders this is where you can go ahead and uh, turn your knob for the for the drive your parking brake is right here your driving modes are right there traction control your automatic stop start disable what do you guys think you like that or you do not comment below i love this feature because this is your automatic hold and basically what it does when you're driving and your foot is on the brake pedal then basically you you don't move because now you can release your foot from the brake pedal and bam, you don't move anything until you're ready to give it some gas. So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna have a seat in the back and show you the space that you have and let's go to the back. Coming along the back part of the Ford Maverick, I wanna point out a couple of things. Like right here in the center stack, you do have your connections, right? For uh, kiddos and stuff like that. This is really, cool that Ford did this. This is so that companies or even Ford are going to be producing 3D models of accessories that you can just snap on. You have it there and then let me show you. You also have it right here as well and on that side right there as well. You've got a nice deep storage compartment right there that you can you know haul I don't know first aid kit, um, 
store some valuables in there. Now this is not lockable, so keep, in, keep that in mind. Now let me show you, you also have an armrest right there. No biggie. Let me show you back over here. You've got your jack. And I like this industrial kind of a look because yes, it looks very unfinished, but hey, remember Ford is trying to cut cost. And I think they are cutting cost on stuff that we really don't see like back over here. Um, like I said, you got your jack right over there. And this right here is actually pretty, pretty, <laughs> I, I never knew that this existed on something like this, but this is to pressurize the cabin. So when somebody shuts the door, guess what? Air can get pressurized so that you've got a very comfortable feel inside of the cabin. Well, there you have it guys. Finally, we get our hands on the fabulous compact Ford Maverick. Let me tell you guys, I enjoyed uh, the drive. I enjoyed all of the technology and techie things that the Maverick brings to the table. I am very sure that every one of you guys that have a reservation, you are going to be enjoying the heck out of these. Hey, with a 500 mile range for tank, with the technology stuff, with the peppiness that you get out of it. You can't go wrong with the Ford Maverick. Ford definitely did their homework and they hit this one as a home run. Hey, if you liked the video, make sure that you like, subscribe, and share the video with everybody. That way they know and they're notified of an upcoming video. With that being said, thank you so much for stopping by and tuning in. On to the next video. Have a blessed day.